These keyboards make it feel like you're cheating in CS2. The Wooting and Razer Huntsman V3 keyboards give a huge advantage over the rest of the competition. A lot of controversy and discussion about if these keyboards should be allowed in pro play and tournaments. That's how overpowered they are and that's why you see a lot of players and pros making the switch. I'll be breaking down what features makes these keyboards unfair and how they benefit you in CS2 right after today's sponsor, Skin Place. Skin Place is a platform where you can sell your CS2 skins instantly and quickly withdraw your money. All you need to do is log in Steam, select the skins you want to sell, pick your cash out method from all these different options, then click receive money and in a couple of seconds you get your payment in your account. Don't forget to use code NART to get an extra 3% when selling your skins. Use the link in the description to sell your skins now. CS2 Pros are switching to the Wooting 60HE and Razer Huntsman V3 keyboards. These keyboards have insane features that allow for faster input and lower latencies to maximize reaction times. Both keyboards also have their own way of dealing with opposite movement that make counter strafing overpowered. I'll be analyzing what makes these keyboards so good and how they benefit you in CS2. Let's first look at the common features both keyboards have which is actuation and rapid trigger. Actuation is when you press a key and the distance it needs to be pressed down to be activated. Most keyboards have an actuation point around 2.0 millimeters so that means that I would need to press my key 2 millimeters down in order for my system to register it. Now the wooden eraser keyboards you get just the actuation from 0.1 millimeters to 4.0 millimeters. Essentially I could change my actuation to a number lower than 2 millimeters, for example 0.1 millimeters. So my key presses will be picked up by the system much faster since I don't have to press as deep as I did with 2 millimeters. So as you can see how responsive the keyboard is, when you change the actuation to a lower number which would give me an advantage with my movement and counter strafing. For the key to reset on a normal keyboard, your finger comes all the way to the top which is a delay. Rapid trigger looks to minimize this key reset delay. With rapid trigger enabled, as soon as you start releasing the key, it begins to reset. You can change the distance that you want your rapid trigger to activate. So if my rapid trigger is set to 0.1 millimeters and and I begin to release the key upwards at 0.1 millimeters, the key is going to begin to deactivate. So with Counter-Strike, your movement will stop much faster with Rapid Trigger on. Next, let's go over the basics of Counter-Strafing first to understand the next features of the keyboards. In CS2, you need to be completely still for your bullets to be accurate. This is where Counter-Strafing comes into play. By pressing the opposite movement key and letting go of the other directional key that you were going, you will come to a stop, which then you can shoot and be accurate. For example, if I'm strafing to the right with D and want to Counter-Strafe, I will let go of D and tap A, the opposite movement key. Now there is some milliseconds in between those actions I just did there that is not perfect when moving as well as potential human error can occur. So Wooting came up with Rappy Snappy which is their way to minimize that downtime of counter strafing. How it works is that whatever key is pressed further, that is the one that is activated. So if I am strafing to the right holding D and then I press A while beginning to release D, Rappy Snappy will shorten that distance it needs to release, effectively removing the error where you counter strafe while still pressing the other key a bit. Keep in mind, I still need to press both keys to perform the action. So there is human error. Timing is still a factor. Razer has their own directional change feature called snap tap and how this works is the last press key will have the priority meaning if I'm strafing to the right holding D then I press and hold A I will begin to move to the left without needing to release D and vice versa. You can change directions instantly as one key performs two functions. So for example, if I'm counter strafing to the left, I press A and my keyboard reads it as me releasing D and pressing A. This removes any player error for counter strafes and this eliminates the counter strafing skill entirely. Snap tap just stops registering the older key when the new one is pressed. This is not the case with Wooting or any other keyboards. If I were to press A and D at the same time on those keyboards, I remain still. You might be saying to yourself, so what if you can hit the perfect counter strafes in CS2? Does that really matter? Yes. Yes it does because you'll notice with snap tap on, since you can perfectly counter strafe, the moment you do so, you can instantly shoot accurately versus without it on. That little of time is make it or break it, especially in higher levels. Let and my mod digital shared their leadified counter strafe percentages using the Razer snap tap and both have noticed an increase. There's a lot of controversy with snap tap. Rob says it shouldn't be allowed. It's a macro slash script known as no binds as it removes the human error part when you move. At the beginning of CS2, these 
movement no binds were introduced however it wasn't long until ESL banned them from tournament play and now Razer and Wooning have implemented them into their keyboards that are not banned. Faceit has come out and stated that no binds and snap tap are allowed but to hold off with getting a Razer keyboard in case this changes. However, no binds are still banned from tournament and league play. Razer was able to get tournament organizers approval for SnapTap and pro players have been using this feature for months now since ESL Pro League prior to its release. So what's next? Are we going to have a mouse that does the aim train with built-in aim assist or even recoil control? In response to Razer's SnapTap, Wooting released their own version of last input priority called Wooting SOCD after receiving feedback from the community. I tested it out in game and it feels just exactly like Razer snap tap and it won't be long until other manufacturers also update their keyboards to have these features. After testing out snap tap and SOCD, I feel dirty. I definitely need to shower seeing how I'm legally cheating in CS2. These features ruled a really important mechanic of Counter Strike. Surely this gets banned in the future, but until then, everyone is going to make the switch. Will Valve get involved? Will Wooting's Rappy Snappy get banned too? If not, then look for players to switch to Wooting keyboards for the extra advantage if SnapTap gets banned. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'm out of here.